Well, right now, two Americans who had been detained in Iran are on their way back home to the United States. Retired U.S. Marine Amir Hekmati heading to his home in Michigan. And Pastor Saeed Abedini set to arrive in North Carolina any time now where he will be joined by his parents. My next guest, Republican Congressman Robert Pittenger, seen here with the pastor, has been tirelessly working to help free these detained Americans. And the congressman is the chair of the Congressional Task Force on Terrorism, and he is my guest on The Real Story today. Congressman, great to see you. What is the real story about you. what finally happened? What finally happened to get their release? Well, it, was, it is a wonderful story, and I was so encouraged to be able to go there and to see Pastor Abedini. I've gotten to know his wife very well over the last couple of years, and he looked great. And his spirits were great. Uh, he had a wonderful perspective of life and what he's been through. He said, you know, I'll never be the same again. He is a different person. He was there, of course, as a Christian, as a pastor of building the children's orphanages, and he happened to lead a Muslim to Christ, and that uh, put him in jail. Mm -hmm. So we worked hard, and a lot of people prayed hard and were involved, and we're just grateful now that he's released. I know that you met with him for 90 minutes. We're showing the photo of you and he together there. When, when he says that he will never be the same again, what does he mean by that? I think the isolation uh, for three and a half years, a lot of torture, a lot of cruel treatment, a lot of perspective of his life. You know, when you're he's 35 years old now, he went in there when he was 31 and a half, and uh, it gives you even a greater dimension and understanding of what God's plan is for your life. And I think he's even more reflective and, and desirous to please him and, and do what he wants him to do with his life from now on. So he is going to North Carolina. He is going to the Billy Graham Training Center at the Cove. Uh, it's my understanding he's going to meet with his parents there, and then he will be reunited with his wife and small children on Monday. W exactly. What's, what's going to happen at this training center? Well, I think it's a time to begin to reassimilate back into life. Uh, he's been through a lot, uh, emotionally, mentally, physically, and I think Franklin has been incredibly gracious in the whole Billy Graham team to invite him to come there and to... Uh, to bring his wife and bring the kids and spend a, a length of time there where they could regroup and, and reassess their lives and, and rejoin together. What, what was his sense of, I, I just, nobody can imagine what he's been through and I'm, as a mom and a wife myself with, with small children, I'm trying to just fathom what he went through without them and, and I'm then trying to imagine how does he put himself back into that environment and did he express anything about that to you? Yes, he did. We talked a little bit about it. He, he talked mostly about his future and his desire to be you know, a, a good uh, husband to Nagame and, and father to the children. I think he's just sober with the reality of what God's calling is for his life. And he's even more passionate about telling people about Christ. He knows what that means to him and how he endured and how he sustained because of that relationship with him. And he, frankly, was full of joy. He had no resentment, had no bitterness. Uh, he had no ill feelings. Uh, it was a man I, frankly, was had a wonderful time just being with him. It was a, it was a great uh, discussion and, and time together. Imprisoned because he was a Christian in a land that does not allow their people to believe in any religion. Amazing story. Uh, you were part of it. Congressman Pittenger. Thanks for sharing the real story with us today. Great to be with you, Gretchen. God bless you. Thank you.